What's going on guys, it's me Lindsay with lindsaymore.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you how to create a landing page with ClickFunnels. Now if you are um, uh, watching this channel, on this channel I will show you guys more about affiliate marketing, how to get started and how to make money online. Now before I get into the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that way you get more updates when I do videos like this onto YouTube. So the reason why I want to do this video is because um, your landing page is going to be the key component to your um to a sales funnel and to actually build an email list okay so if you are creating a land a landing page and you're not um that's not generating um that's not high converting or anything like that meaning that every time like you no know, like a hundred visitors let's say for instance a hundred visitors visit your your landing page but only two people opt in trust me you're wasting a lot of traffic because your page is not converting well and what I'm gonna share with you is how you can simply create one with click funnels and the one that I have typically been using, the style I have been using pretty much, is a very basic style and it's actually been generating me a lot more conversions um, aside from trying to create landing pages that have you know crazy backgrounds and all these background images or anything like that. I keep it very um, simple and like I said, I've been averaging about um, anywhere from 49 to 51% conversion rate with this type of uh, landing page that I will share with you. But again, guys, this is going to be the main part of your sales funnel because um, in order to get people onto your email list, in order for people to see additional products into your sales funnels and things like that as well, that means they have to opt in. And if they come into your page and they're just clicking off, um, they're not opting in and things like that as well, You're again, you're losing traffic and you're losing potential leads and customers to your sales funnel and to your business, okay? So that's why I want to share with you quickly on how we're going to do this with click funnels, okay? So... What we're going to do here is once you are inside of ClickFunnels, and I will put a link to ClickFunnels below in the description below where you get access to a free 14 day trial. Okay. But once you are here, the first thing you want to do is you want to click on where it says add new and you have two options where you can build a funnel. But for this particular um, case, we're just going to use create funnel using the classic funnel builder. And I simply want to do this option right here where I just want to collect emails. And I want to give this a name, so I'm going to just call it test for right now and click on build funnel. Okay, so now that we're over here, um, you'll get access to the um, various templates from ClickFunnels that will help you to go ahead and design your page, okay? So like I said, they have a lot of these on here. You can always definitely test out like so what I'm going to share with you in this video is just what's been working for me but you can always go here choose any of these templates and then what you want to do is you want to send traffic to these pages and you want to track your conversions see on which page is getting a better conversion rate and things like that as well and then from there you want to just send more traffic to the one that's actually getting a lot of conversions okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a really simple template that I can use in order to collect emails okay so like for me I will use one of these right here is the super clean opt-in you also have like the clean opt-in box and the super clean dark you can use any of these um, let's go ahead and start with this one okay now that we're over here what I need to do is go ahead and click on edit page Okay, so now we have this page. What I typically like to do is I like to go ahead and change my background to all white. So what I just did there, guys, is I came over here to settings with the background. And then right here, that gray background that you guys see is typically an image that um, ClickFunnels use. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come here where it says background image, and I'm going to delete all of this. So let me do that. And then I want to choose white. So now I have a clean white image right here. And what you also want to do is you definitely want to change out your headline. Okay, so you definitely want to use a headline that really stands out. Um, for one that I am actually using for one of my funnels that's actually um, converting at 49% um, is this right here is... Let me do learn how to earn $500 plus a week with this simple 
two-step system, okay? Now, what I also want to do is I want to make a copy of this little text right here because I want to add it to the top. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clone it, right? So if you hover over any of this text and you stuck an orange box around it, that way you can actually um, change the settings or anything like that because all these boxes are going to have this little wheel on it where you can change the settings. But what I did right here is I just um, made a duplicate because I want to move this one up here, right? And I want to tell people exactly what it is. It's going to be a 100% free video reveals. I'll put something like that, right? And then, like I said, I want to um, I want to kind of move this so it's not so close to the text below it. So what I'm going to do is click on the wheel icon. And I need to increase the space here. So I'm going to do it for this part, actually. So now we got a little space in between here. And then what I want to do is also is I want to make my change the color of my bold color because I want to bold some of these letters out so they actually stand out. So I'm going to let's do this. Okay, we could do something like that, right? Right here, I don't need this text right here. You can add some text here. You can say something like, uh, let's see. Everything will be shown in the video um, or something like that. You can do something like that, but you can also just get rid of it, which I'll probably do right here because I don't need it. Okay? And then you also want to make sure that your landing page is congruent to um, the colors on your landing page. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that color. So now, cause I have my red text here, that's bold. And then I also want my button to be bold as well. And you can also change the information here. And it says, access free video now, right? And that's like a really basic page. And believe it or not guys, like I tell you, like I promise you, this page right here, as simple and as basic as it looks, gives me the most conversions. Whenever I do any type of crazy designs or try to get, uh, you know, crazy background images and all this type of stuff like that, um, they have some conversions, but not as well. Something very simple and basic like this always works for me. So definitely try this out. And again, like I said, with all the additional templates that they have that ClickFunnels provides to you, try those out too. Do a split test and see which one works better for you. But I always found out the simplest works the best. Okay. So now that you have this, the next thing you want to make sure that you do is you want to connect your um, autoresponder to this page, okay? So the auto, auto one of the autoresponders I use is Aweber, right? So what you would do is you'll come over here to the settings tab and you want to click on integrations. Now, as you guys see here, our autoresponder is not integrated, so we want to make sure that we do this. So prior to doing this, what you want to do is you want to go to Aweber or go to Get Response or whatever third-party email autoresponder you're using. You want to go ahead and you want to create a list. And for Aweber, you want to create a list. You want to also create a sign up form so that way you can connect those two. Can you can connect you can connect to your Aweber to your um, to your page? Okay. So now, as you guys see here, we're not connected. What I need to do is I need to choose Aweber here, and then I need to go ahead and choose one of my lists. So I'm going to choose integrate existing form. And I'll just choose this option right here. And now everything is all linked up. So what I want to make sure I do is I click on save. And I want to give this um, page a name, of course, before I, um, I save it. So you want to do that as well. And click save. And that's how you can simply create a landing page inside of ClickFunnels. And this is, again, guys, this is very, very, very basic. Um, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Use one of the, um, if you want more designs, Use one of the templates that's provided for you. Get your feet wet. Um, go through the process several times so that way you can get um, familiar with using ClickFunnels. And that way you can test out different designs as well. But for me, like I said, everything works out when I kept things really, really simple. Now, also something else that you want to do is if you come up down here to the general tab, it's going to um, have this pop out that comes here, right here. So if you don't want your ClickFunnels affiliate badge to show on your page, 
All you have to do is click hi. So whenever we submit this page, go live, and somebody visits this, visits this page, in the bottom corner, you're going to see um, a little click funnels tab. So like if somebody wants to go and create a similar page like you have, they all they have to do is just become a member of ClickFunnels and they can click on that badge. Some people don't want that badge to be on their page. So this is where you get um, where you hide it. Also, if you don't want this to show up in search engines, so meaning like if somebody was to find, uh, you know, your handle, your username here, and you don't want them, to, want them to see all parts of your funnel, you come here where it says search engines, you want to click on hide, right? And that's it. Now, if you don't want to recreate this page over and over again, the next thing you want to do is click on save page as a template. And you just want to give this a name. So that way, when you go to your click funnels, you, whenever you create a new landing page, all you have to do is just select this template. And you, all you have to do is just change out the wording and things like that as well. And keep it very simple so you don't have to always keep recreating the same page over and over again from scratch. All right. So again, guys, that's how you get started. That's how you create a simple landing page with ClickFunnels, guys. Okay. So if you want to get access to a free 14 day trial with ClickFunnels, make sure you go underneath this video in the description below. I will include a link where you get access to a free 14 day trial with ClickFunnels. And also again, guys, this is the, the very, the most important part of your sales funnel is to make sure that this page is converting as high as it is possibly can. Okay. If you have low conversion rates or you, if you're using software out there where you can't even track your conversion rates for your landing page um i highly recommend that you go ahead and make changes to that and get something that you um that will track um conversions for you because if you're if you don't know your numbers you don't know this page is working and you're just sending tons of traffic to a page that's not converting for you okay guys so make sure you go ahead and do that also below this video i'm going to include some freebies even um a free four-part video series that will um actually show you how to make a hundred to three hundred dollars per day online and that information will all be below this video in the description below, guys, okay? So go ahead and do that, guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Also, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So that way you get more updates when I do videos like this onto YouTube. And to the next video, guys. Peace.